Yo, what is going on guys? It's the one and only one Hennis, and today I am bringing you another Call of Duty Black Ops 3 video over here onto the Carnage Clan channel. Now today guys, what you're going to be watching is a 100 plus kill gameplay I got using the brand new nail gun that was just added into Black Ops 3 yesterday, along with three other DLC weapons. You guys saw all of the gameplays over here on Carnage. Apollo does a great job at making sure he supplies you guys with all the gameplays you need for all DLC weapons, but in case you missed it, the four DLC weapons that we got were the nail gun, which you guys are watching a 100 plus kill gameplay of in the background here right now. We also got some sort of disc throwing pizza slicer, I believe. We also got the left arm of a mannequin from Nuketown, I think. And we also got a mini chainsaw, which is very unique. So this is definitely the weirdest, most unique, but also coolest in my opinion, DLC weapon drop that we've gotten from Treyarch so far for Black Ops 3. But hopefully you guys will go ahead and enjoy today's video. It is by myself and I'm commentating it. So if you guys enjoy any part of this video, make sure you go ahead and come check me out. Drop a like on today's video. We'll shoot for 1000 likes. But without further ado, let's get right into today's video. So like I said, what you guys are watching here in the background right now is a 100 kill gameplay I got with the nail gun yesterday. Now, this is definitely, in my opinion, one of the most powerful DLC weapons we've gotten so far here in Black Ops 3. I actually talked about this in a commentary I did over on my own personal channel when I actually showed you guys some gameplay of the brand new nail gun when it was released yesterday. And I put up the idea that this weapon may actually be more powerful than what I personally believe as of right now is currently the most powerful DLC weapon that we've gotten from Treyarch being the Peacekeeper. Now, the reason I say that and the reason I also hesitate as well is first off the nail gun is a very very powerful weapon you guys will see here throughout this gameplay the fire rate is pretty slow but that is compensated by a very high damage and because it does shoot nails and not bullets it really doesn't make any sense why the damage would be this high but it does make sense why the fire rate would be so low so that's one thing that really does make this weapon extremely good the damage is very high but one of the things that really deters me from calling this indefinitely the most powerful DLC weapon that we've gotten here in Black Ops 3 is is due to the fact that there is bullet travel time. Now, as you guys know, we've seen weapons that have this before in Black Ops 3. We got it with the Banshee. It was, I believe, the only other DLC weapon that we've gotten that actually has bullet delay travel time built in. Essentially, if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, you guys will probably see it here throughout this gameplay, but when I'm aiming at people, I can't aim directly at them because there isn't an instantaneous travel time from the time the bullet comes out of my gun to when it actually hits the target. I have to compensate for the amount of time that the bullet, or in this case, the nail, is gonna travel through the air and then hit the target. So you gotta predict where your enemy's going to be while you're shooting at it, which does make for a bit more of a difficult play style when you're going for a gameplay like this. Now, with that said though, it definitely isn't as exaggerated as it was on the Banshee, because you guys will see in this gameplay here right now, I am still able to hit targets pretty easily, although most of the gunfights I do get up into are pretty much head-on, because I'm pretty much focusing around the spawn points at A and C here on Nuketown, so there isn't really a whole lot of moments where I'm shooting an enemy from the side or shooting them while they're moving laterally across my screen, but nonetheless, it is still something that you've got to factor in here when considering whether or not this is one of the most powerful DLC weapons. So I actually want to propose that question right now here for you guys right now. If you guys do have the nail gun right now within Black Ops 3, let me know how you guys compare this weapon to a weapon like the Peacekeeper. And if you have the Peacekeeper as well, you'll be able to have a better idea as to which one is a little bit more powerful. For me personally, as of right now, considering everything that we've gotten so far here with the nail gun, I'd have to say that the Peacekeeper is definitely still the most powerful weapon in my eyes, just simply because of the bullet travel time and the fact that most people are used to like an actual weapon right? When you're shooting a weapon like the nail gun, which I believe the technical term for it when it was added yesterday is the DIY 11 renovator, which is incredibly weird and cool. But the fact that you're shooting nails and not actual bullets does, I think, have a bit more of a different effect when you're using the weapon and running around trying to get kills with it. But that's just me. Like I said, let me know what you guys think about it down there in the comment section below. Now, I'm going to quickly go over with you guys the class setup that I was actually using here for this gameplay. You'll see it up on screen here right now. I had grip, quick draw, and fast mag on with afterburner, fast hand, scavenger, and I believe black suppressor as my perks. Now for a while I was actually running stock on this weapon and the reason I did that is because when you have stock on an SMG especially strafing left to right really makes it hard for the enemies who are in gunfights with you to actually hit the target. So when you have on stock it allows you to strafe like I said and really evade those bullets. However when I'm playing on a map like Nuketown and because I like to play pretty rushy I think fast mag is pretty much a dead-on necessity for me especially considering the fact that I was still at this point trying to sort of acclimate myself to the bullet travel delay time so I was was missing a lot of shots and it's a small map like Nuketown. So having an attachment like Fast Mags on was incredibly important for me to actually have and without it I probably would not have been able to get this gameplay. So the streaks that I'm actually running in this gameplay by the way are actually pretty interesting as well and this honestly is what makes it really impressive for me that I actually got this gameplay. I'm only running the UEV, the Wraith, and the hater. So I only have one other lethal streak going around getting kills for me. So the majority of the kills that you're going to see here in this gameplay are actually with the nail gun itself, which is pretty awesome. It's not like I'm running Talon, GI Unit, and Raps or something like that, where 
where 75% of the kills are from streaks. Most of the kills are from the nail gun, which is pretty cool. But anyways, guys, that's going to go ahead and do it here for today's video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you guys did, be sure to go ahead and smack a like. That would definitely mean a lot to me. Make sure you also go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you guys are new. I'll be bringing you guys Infinite Warfare content all throughout the life cycle of this game. So if you're watching this on Carnage, make sure you go ahead and come check me out. And make sure you guys also go ahead and comment down below hashtag nail gun if you watch up to this point in the video. And anyways, guys, thank you all so very much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Until next time, everybody, keep gaming and as always, stay cool. Adios.